Okay. Thanks Listen. for having me. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate, you. appreciate Thank you so much being here on us. You know, love with you guys. No problem. Thank you. We appreciate it. That that's because we'll be about real music, real style, Thank real people. people, and you're real. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, you know, Elon, I know definitely thank you so much for being with us. Um, you know, no um, anytime. Anytime. Shout out to your whole crew, uh yeah. to everybody, your manager, your dad, everybody. We thank everybody for being all with us. So let's get into it. Yeah. Um, so Elon, yeah. so definitely I I'm super excited because I definitely, you know, you dropped your newest single hard, yeah, hard on June on the 30th, 30th right? So yeah. I know we have talked before. We know we don't had you. We had you on a hip hop basement. You know, you. We talked about you coming into the music industry and you know starting off very young. You know, yeah. so I want you to give the, our our newest segment, our newest audience, an understanding. Like, you know, who is Suave, and you know what inspired you to you know go into the music industry. Um. Well, I'm Elon Suave. If you haven't known already, um, I'm 16 years old. I'm from the Bronx, New York. Um. What really inspired me is my family and growing up always doing music um you know piano lessons from a very young age the music always been like in my childhood and um my older brother as well like he first started um recording when i was around like 13 14 and i picked it up right behind him and ever since then it's been you know just it's just been on from then you know like i my first recorded song was when i was 14 years old mm -hmm. and like it's been two years since then and i felt like i got incredibly better like way way better than back when I was 14 and um I just feel like it's my musical journey and as I keep progressing and growing as a person and as an artist just want to have people around me that support me and support what I do and you're one of them so thank you thank you oh my gosh yeah. thank you thank you and I love that and I love the the the, the flow that I love the confidence in you and everything that you how you talking I love yeah, it look you. at that because we, we talked last time we was there yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, perfect. Did you want to go yes. move on? Okay. So, like, I know you were saying, like, you started really young. So, like, what makes, yeah. like, as far as, like, your growth, like, what makes your mindset different now that you're older from, like, what you were doing? Oh, um, really, like, maturing as a person, too. Maturing as a person affects your music in some sort of way. Mm -hmm. Like, you start to, like, see things differently, and therefore, you're going to write different stuff, record different stuff, think about different ideas um and the time changes as well like from music like two years ago music was in the same place where it is today music changes every week like another week is a new trend so um me maturing obviously like brought something new to my music my voice getting deeper than when it was when i was 14 mm -hmm. and stuff like that um adjusting to it and yeah just loving it so far um i'm i'm far from done like i'm far mm -hmm. from like development like being finished um you know i'm still getting better as an artist and yeah okay. hopefully hopefully one day i reach my peak and you know i i you know what i'm gonna backtrack you mind if i just yeah, say something yeah. I, what i love what I, I i i really loved in your answer was the fact that you, you said you you know you're still developing, developing. yeah and yeah. one thing about in the music industry you know especially with labels you know they they try to look for the, the full package and you know to to have everything and I've, I've seen you as an artist and the fact that you can admit that you you know you're still trying to develop you're still trying to grow is good because you're never going to stop learning growing, in this yeah. industry and nice. growing in this industry so yeah. With that being said, so you as an artist, sometimes as artists, they don't, they know what needs to be developed yeah. or they're still trying to understand what is developed. Do you have, do you know what direction or what development that you want to focus on a little bit more being young still in this game and trying to progress? Um, music wise or like just like personality wise or like marketing wise? Um, you like know what? Let's say, you know what, not even music, because I, I can hear your music. Let's talk about more of the personal part of it. Oh, like, honestly, like, I can improve being more social, because, like, before, like, bef like, I have a core group of friends, and like, I never really branched out of that core group of friends. Like, I'm a very social mm -hmm. person, but not too, too social, if you know what I mean. Like, socializing, go outside and say, hey, listen to my music, you know, that type of social. Mm -hmm. I'm not really that type of social yet, and, um... 
So like you know, business like, and personal, yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, like business, it could be yeah, but yeah, okay. more like that. Um, um, and I hope that as I get older and I mature, that I can feel more comfortable doing that. Mm. Um, and yeah, so as of right now, that's really what I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to work on like being more confident about like going up to somebody and saying, "Hey, listen to my music. It's on Spotify. You know, stuff like that." Um, and yeah, so hopefully that's one of the aspects that I feel like I can get better at and like I'm still developing in. So, um, okay. hopefully I can, you know, develop and I, on that I like more. that answer. I definitely like that answer because, you know, you'll get that over time. Yeah. And, you know, as you, you know, you start hitting more crowds and you're getting more used to being around more people. So, and the one thing I love about with artistry in the music industry, you know, you have bring your personality mm -hmm. yeah. and, you know, and, and be, to be humble. So, you know, I, I you're going in the right direction. You got to, you get managed as well. Like you're starting off so young. So it's like you, you're getting exposed to it at mm -hmm. an early age. So you already know, like, as, when you get older, like what you need to do. Right. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. Um, so I know like you're you're signed right now to like your family's label. So being that like you're signed to your family's label, like what is it that like what are like the major gems that you're learning? Um just like about like the whole music industry and everything. Well, as an independent artist is it's harder. It's mm -hmm. way harder for an independent artist. Um, like a label can get you on radio, a label can get you a lot of different ads, a lot of different things. Um being independent, most of it is independent mm -hmm. um you have to rely on yourself and your team to um really like help you and um so far it's been so good so far it's been good um so far like i've grown tremendously over like time um with each song that i drop new people hear about me um you know do a music video and more people watching me and seeing what i do and um hopefully it can get to a point where a label can find me an actual label like columbia or rock nation can find me and um like what i do and decide to bring me along okay, okay. so would be that with that being said about labels um so would you with what you're learning right and working under your family your family's independent label say rock nation do come to the table say columbia comes to the table right would you accept yeah. a major label contract or rather stay independent it depends you, on what it has the pros and cons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on what they're offering me, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's a bad deal, then that I'm I'll, I'll stay independent. I'm good. But if it's a deal that I feel like can benefit me and my family for the um years to come, then I'll take that deal, no doubt. So because like, it, because it is easier. It is way easier being a signed artist. Um, it's really it's really really easier being a signed artist. Um. You know, like I said, radio play, ads, different things to do. Um, they, they, they can back up the marketing and all yeah, that stuff. Back up, yeah, and, exactly. Yeah, yeah touring, uh, all touring. of that. Exactly. So being a signed artist is way easier than being independent. So um, like I said, if a label does come to the table with something, um, it has to be reasonable first and foremost, or else I'm not going to really look at it because I'm not going to screw myself over in the long run. Mm -hmm. um, and... Secondly, I want to take care of my family, look after my family, and that deal has to, you know, like, have something in it that is good for me and that I feel like can help my family and help me in my situation. Okay. okay. So I do. I just want to take a moment. Uh, there was a question in the, um, I don't think it's directly to you, but um, Lovely Butterfly 43, I think that's what it says, uh, said, how would you know it's, it's bad? Um, that's the catch. So just really intersecting. So usually when it comes to um, contracts, it really depends. Um, it depends yeah. on how they're breaking down the percentages um, to who's getting what. They are, when it comes down to the royalties, who's all going to be involved when it comes to yeah. management, um, to the for the artists, um, when it comes to the label itself, merchandising. So it's a lot that really a plays. A lot that That's really plays it, into it, yeah. It's, yeah it's, so contracts, you really have to, if you don't fully understand it, you, you or your manager don't fully understand the terms of it, Um, usually that's why they end up bringing in the um, entertainment attorneys. And, the lawyer, yeah. um, and all the lawyers come in, they try to, you know, make sure that you're getting the proper deal because you don't want us to have it where it's just like, oh, they're getting basically 
ninety percent and you're only getting five. You know, yeah, yeah, the management exactly. is getting the other five. So yeah. you know, so it really depends on all of the, the the logistics and terms within that contract and how they're breaking it down. So I mean, I'll definitely do. I'm definitely going to do a show about contracts. Um. Um, sometime soon because I do get a lot of questions about that but sorry to interrupt but just wanted no to answer that yeah. question yeah <laughs> so is that something like you're like you're learning like like I said like with your family's label is that something that you're like kind of like learning like with certain deals and like certain contracts or what to look look out for what not to look out for wait sorry repeat that I'm sorry I I missed that it's okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, is that sorry. something like like you're learning like as far as like what to look out for what not to look for look out for when it comes to like contracts and deals with like major labels and stuff like that oh yeah um learning every day really um like i said like my um my manager who's my father is also a lawyer and like he knows more of that stuff than i really do so he's really teaching me too mm -hmm. so Excellent. um Excellent. so yeah really learning from him and learning vicariously from other people and seeing what other people do and how the people move and what other people are doing and how and how they're um, record label deals have done them or if it's good or bad and just seeing that and really learning um from other people that's how i'm really like learning okay. as of right now as of right now and never stop learning <laughs> so and uh, you said your dad is a lawyer so that's good that he's able to bring examples um to you directly to see like okay you know because we've seen you know make the stallion just got out of a, mm -hmm. a a bad deal that took place yeah. you know i've read of artists and um one of my favorite um singers jojo you know it took her years to get out of a, a bad that deal, deal yeah. that you know she basically this label could have tied her whole life up and i think it's very important that independent artists understand um you know the like listen you can really sign your life away you know to and like the logistics of like yeah. behind. Yeah, so i can. think it's so important that you know you, you got a good team you know your dad and, and that's who's your manager and not only that as an attorney to really go in and really say hey i'm going to teach my son this so that way because sometimes he might need to be a meeting in la you might need to be in new york <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, and that's, that's true. gonna happen you know and you got to know how to talk. You got to know how what's what's what they already put on the table and be like, no, no, no. You can pick up a contract and look yeah. at it like, listen, I can already see this is wrong right this here. This is going to be a 360 yeah. deal. Like, we ain't going 360. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, with that, that being said, as of right now, like with everything that you're learning, so, you know, as an artist, what would you say the, the most valuable experience so far that you have learned and what is what would you say would be the worst experience that you have learned so far as an independent artist in the music industry? Most valuable experience. Um, hmm. <laughs> Most valuable <laughs> experience, maybe it'll be, um, like for me, what is really important to me is like when I first started out, seeing how much people actually love my music. Mm. Like as an independent artist, seeing how people like me pushing it myself how like that really like also um it, like motivates people to do what they have to do as well because as an mm -hmm. independent artist like it's really a grind it's really a hustle and like you hustling can show somebody else that like it's possible for them to do what they want to do in their hustle as well whether it's like school or sports and that like really seeing me encourage other people to you know do what they have to do it's really a big plus to me. And my worst experience, I really haven't had any terrible experiences. Like, really. Like, I really, in two years, I really haven't had any terrible experiences, thank God, to say. Like, I haven't. That's yeah, That's I haven't good. had any bad experiences. That is good. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So is there anyone that you, like, would love to just, like, collaborate with, like, in the future? Oh, Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich. Wait, famous people? Anybody, anybody, anybody. Yeah, Roddy Rich. I can see that. <laughs> Tory, yeah, Roddy Rich. I can see that. I see Tory Lanes. And I would um collab with Pop Smoke, but um, oh, you mean. didn't hear what happened, yeah. Yeah. Pop right. Smoke's one of my favorite artists as well. Pop Smoke oh, out of man. Brooklyn. What do you think of his yeah. album? Oh, oh my yes. god, every single song on there is just on yes. point. <laughs> I listened to, to it me. like three times. <laughs> to me, every single song on there is on point nineteen out of nineteen. Hundred percent. Yes. Um, it's just so sad that he had to go so yeah. soon at an early age, twenty. He was only yeah. twenty, yeah. and he so showed young. he sh he showed a lot of promise. Um, 
50 yeah, Cent. That's more. like his son. That's 50 Cent's son. Like, it's, you know, he was right there with him. Um, And it's just sad to see, you know. It's always sad yeah. to see young people just go at a young age. Like, yeah. Yes, yeah. that it is. And... You know, we definitely, you know, we love um, the the artists that you you name because I definitely can see yeah. a collaboration of you right. just, you know, with Roddy Rich and that sound, and I oh, think yeah. that would be a a perfect collab. I love um, music. Speaking of, you know, future artists you want to work with and of that nature. So with your new single, your newest single, Heart, right? I love the sound. Yeah. I love the the creativity in this. I, I the lyric lyric wise, because you know, for, you know, I've always said I listen to a, a song. And you listen with the lyrics. With in in a, in a broke down much. So I'm listening to production. I'm listening to lyrics. I'm listening to now. Like okay, what this could be similar. I think you have such a uniqueness. Talk about the creativity and Thank behind you. hard and and in the production. And, you know, the team that you worked with that delivered that because I that is a, a radio hit. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Um really the origin of the song really um I wrote it after my grandfather passed away. Mm -hmm. Oh sorry. Um yeah I mentioned him in the song as well. It's in the hook. Mm -hmm. Um my producer LP um on the beat he made the beat um, I listened to it and I just started writing about, I started venting, really. I started venting about what I felt and um, recorded it. Came out really, really good. Sent it to my engineer who, um, Siege XL, um, he mixed it, sent it back to me. And from then on, it was, I loved it. I loved the sound. Um, really, it's one of my personal favorites by me because, also because, you know, it's, I have some emotional attachment to it. Mm. Um, one of my personal favorites and yeah and that usually be the music that I love that soars like you know you yeah. you don't normally you don't think of it mm -hmm. that way like oh this is going to be winning because you put so much emotion so much into energy it. into it because yeah. literally like he said he's just venting, venting. venting. and yeah. venting. but then when I say like when I got that track I've listened to it multiple times. I hurry up Thank and send it to the station. <laughs> and it's like, put this in rotation, please. Yeah. Thank um, you. Thank I, you. Th that is a winning um, radio track. I mean, it's very, um, I just love the lyrics. It was just so in depth. So, and, and I love to hear um, the story behind that because, I mean, hard. I mean, when you think about it, like, you know, because at first when you hear it, you just think like, oh, you know, I'm out on these streets. I'm just yeah. trying to be gangster, yeah, whatever yeah, the deal yeah, is. But that's yeah, not yeah. even the case. And it, it gave a, it gave once I listened to it, it gave a different perspective, so a different feel. I love the song. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Like, I was, Thank you. No problem. Yeah. On all streaming platforms: Apple Music, Spotify, and yes, music. Yeah. Yes, yes. Go download please, it. Stream it. Please download it. Save it. Download yeah. it. Buy it. Purchase it. Thank stream you. it. <laughs> yeah. It's everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. I done heard it multiple, multiple times. I'm like sending it out. I actually put it up on um, our Spotify playlist. So Thank go you. to Thank Genius you. Music for our Genius Music Mondays. Um, it was a, one of our features on for uh, starting actually yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. So it's on there, guys. Go, go, go to it, please. Yeah, okay. Please. Thank so you. So now I know you talked about other artists. I know you talk about who you want to collaborate. Um, what sets you apart? I know you're you're growing, yeah, you're, you're learning about, you know, everything within this industry. But what sets me apart? What sets you apart from uh, other for, artists? Well, for that That's question, I would say my versatility. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like I can get on a R and B track, I can get on a hip hop track, rap track, I get on a pop track as well, and I feel like that also comes with. Before I started rapping, I was just singing really mm -hmm. um you know i took piano lessons and i sung and i feel like once i started rapping like the singing part like hitting certain notes and um you know doing certain things with my voice just came natural because of singing like before mm -hmm. rapping so i feel like my versatility sets me apart from other artists as well okay, okay. versatility okay. So like I know like you were talking about like the whole process for like when like what you were basically like the whole process for hard 
So during like this whole quarantine, what do you? How are you trying to stay creative like this whole, through this whole entire oh, quarantine? Yeah, I know it's every, hard. Like a lot yeah. of creatives, it's hard. Um, for me, it hasn't really been that hard, honestly. Um, every okay, day, okay. every yeah, every day <laughs> I've been every day I've been recording songs okay. after song after song after song after song. Like I'm trapped away in my basement. Um, really, and I've been doing quantity performances on my yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that yeah, that one everybody. performance. Yeah, it went off because it was yeah the songs are too far. The songs, yeah, the songs, yeah. <laughs> Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, the, the alarm went off. But um, uh, honestly, I've been doing them since like June mm. or May, where we started quarantine. Because it's been at least twelve weeks that I've been doing quarantine performance. That's yeah. like so. What, this is like three the perfect months? time for you. Yeah. 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 Really. So I've been really like consistent on my quarantine performances every Friday at seven. So anybody in this live, please tune into my live on Friday at seven p.m on my page the official dot e l a n so please tune in no problem and we'll make sure we'll post that in our stories as well oh, yeah. for us. Thank so you. I know Thank we you. usually have um a flyer so we'll make sure we we'll post that through our stories okay. as well because you know I love I, I, I love you so much Thank you thank you thank <laughs> you appreciate it love you too um <laughs> so um I just lost my train of thought <laughs> I was like happy okay so now back on point now the whole thing is like you know with the path because like, you having a lot of eyes on you you have you have great like i said I, I will never stop praising the fact when i you know hear a good artist not only a good artist a great artist um and and your growth i i actually see and hear the growth just from the past couple of months yeah. um from from Thank when you. i met you um you know the year from when I met you, almost that's crazy. It'll almost be a year. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. it's a long so, time. <laughs> that's so, a long time. your direction um, do you know do your, you know, as an artist, you know, in, in the sound that you want to put out there, what you're giving to your audience, you know, what direction do you see yourself going into? How, how do you see feathering yourself? in your music? Like, you know, because sometimes artists like to change it up, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that's true. So, um, you know, where do you see yourself? I feel like I'm sticking with, like, what I know so far. And, like, I'm getting better with every song that I put out. Um, I'm realizing what I can do better and what I should take out. Um, I feel like I want to go in a direction like Roddy Rich kind of music, but sometimes switch it up and do Chris Brown kind of music. And But, I, you know, like, I'm versatile, so I want to do a lot of things. Yeah. But um, so far, just focusing on like probably one type of music probably going to be like what I've been putting out so far and um R&B as well so mm -hmm. those two like I want to dab um you know, like dabble in those lanes yeah I mean don't ever like box yourself into yeah, like I, yeah, yeah exactly like, can't yeah I can't box myself in any category really I'm just an artist yeah, because Chris like, Brown, he sings, he raps, yeah, he does it all, dances, he does, pop, and so. does yeah, it exactly, all, so. every category. So I can't box myself in a category because that's just very like stifling, really. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, so as of right now, I'm just going with what I feel like I should, you know, I hear a beat, I like it, I start writing, and you know, like whatever comes up, comes up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then, I I know you dropped a couple of visuals. Um, yeah, you know, for, I um, love the for my visuals. My song found me. Found me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so I want to talk. Who who does the your actual layout in regards to your visual? Do you come up with those ideas? Because you know the one thing that I do talk to independent artists about is being involved in every aspect. Yeah. So are you fully involved when it comes to your layout with the videos? Um, I can't think of the right term right now. <laughs> Hands on. Um. No, no, okay. it, it's something else for oh. when you for when you do the videos. Um, the treatment. The treatment. There we go. Yeah. Think of the, so, yeah, are you okay. hands on with your treatment? Um, you know, I, um, you yeah. know so, I, I can't stress that enough about you know making sure that every you know as an artist they learn every aspect and what they yeah. do and how they envision you know when it comes to their music and the visual they want to put out. Yeah, um, I'm pretty hands on with the treatment. Um, the videographer will send over the treatment and I'll like go over it and say. Or I want this to be that, or I want mm -hmm. it to be on this scene, and 
on where this to symbolize this, you know, um, things like that. Um, for Found Me, it was generally a sad song. So, you know, the attire, I was wearing all black. Mm -hmm. um, I had like a little trench coat on. And really that symbolizes, you know, me going through harder times because that's not how I normally dress, you mm -hmm. know. So it was all black. I had a black sweater on, black jeans and black sneakers. And um, it was two separate scenes as well. It was a scene where um, me and the girl that was in the video, we were on better terms. And there was another scene where it was mm -hmm. like we broke up and like now the whole mood is sad, really. I'm looking mm -hmm. out the window. She's looking at the window as well. You know, stuff like that. And um, that was really, that actually, we, we figured that out. We planned that out actually at the video shoot. So we yeah. were brainstorming like what to do. And, you know, I came up with that idea. And yeah, we just ran with it. Okay. okay. Yeah, I love that visual. I'm sorry. I really do. Thank you, I really thank you. think I think the far you know me, I'm always I'm all for lyrics. I think that the lyrics is very good and very relatable into the actual visual itself because of the fact that it looks like, you know, hey, you're growing, you know, this relationship wasn't the same as it was in the beginning. Yeah. You know, I, I got some other things going on. So <laughs> So yeah. speaking of found me, so right now I know you're focused on your music. Are you, how would you say, you know, is it hard having relationships while dealing with um, music? Do you have a relationship? It's not, really, <laughs> not really. Not really. It's not really hard. <laughs> um, you know, I can multitask. I can focus on a lot of things. But it hasn't really been hard, no. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So what you're saying is you're not, you're not single. That's 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 all. Uh, you call it confidential. That's confidential. <laughs> confidential. That's confidential. You plead the fifth. It's okay. Yes. We're, we're just trying to throw you a curveball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dad, don't get us. Don't get us. That's okay? confidential. All right. <laughs> all right. So listen, I I'm, I really enjoyed this. You know, this has been amazing. Um, did you have any more questions as well? well I just want to know, yes. like, what um, like, what can we expect, like, with your next upcoming project? Um, oh, so obviously it's in volume two. Yes. That is probably my best, my best, 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 best body of work I've ever put out. Um, I love all the songs on them, all of the songs on them. Uh, some of the songs I feel like can compete with Found Me, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Um, I love all of the songs. Um, I'm actually dropping a song off of that EP coming July this month um, called Danger. So be on the lookout for that okay um and yeah so that's what's coming now um july i'm releasing dangerous then august is a full ep a five okay. song ep and yeah so get ready for it yes, <laughs> yes. No, I'm I, ready. Obviously, I like the first one like, yeah that was, that was it's real i'm telling you dope just dope i can't I, I can't like i can't wait i really Thank can't you. believe me Thank soon you. As you, soon as it hopped the press and it's like you Check don't it. have like a sound like you would think from like a 16 year old like, right like, and that's that's what makes definitely makes yeah. um, Elon stand out. Like you, your sound, and then even now, even just hearing hard, and even now hearing you talk, and you know how you describe, you know your direction and your understanding for the music, um, is is definitely mature. So thank and I you. thank you, I appreciate you're welcome, it. and and that's needed. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I I shout out to the management shout yes. out to his team um, for his dad. dad everybody like everybody that's supporting you yeah, because yeah. it takes a lot to mm -hmm. understand because I'm quite sure you you hear like you know we look at older groups you mm -hmm. know groups we grew up with you know TLC and you know they don't have the right they team. didn't have the right team and you know people went yeah. bankrupt people you know lost money yeah. and had to start over and got out yeah. of contracts and that's basically had nothing mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's very important. Oh, what I do? Yeah, okay. I got like a I'm sorry. Glitch. I'm, mess yeah. I'm <laughs> messing up stuff. Yeah. Oh, like, what happened? I don't know. Okay. I I'm think sorry. I'm, messing I'm over here touching stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So like I said, it's very, it's very important. Um, super important. So I, I thank you so much for being on, you know, being on this platform with us. I thank you, thank you. for giving us, you know, answering our questions and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and actually educating others out there who is either yeah. looking, looking to, to be in the industry or further their career in the industry and looking at you as an example 
in regards to you know how you're walking this path and 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 basically doing it and doing it well and with the understanding so yeah thank, thank you, you yeah. So much. i appreciate yeah. it anytime okay. anytime i just had one more question what okay. um like what do you want your mark to be on in the music industry like what do you want my people mark, to know know, mark, you, be know, uh, know you as <laughs> know you as um <laughs> I don't even know. Um, right now I'm 16, and um, I don't plan on leaving the music industry until I'm well in my 40s. So I don't There's know. Saying that, that, saying that right. right now, saying my mark. Um, I honestly want people to see that anything is possible. Um, as long as you put in hard work, hard work and discipline, really, mm -hmm. like discipline yourself to. You know, work on your craft and, you know, focus hard because mm -hmm. um, you can do anything. You know, when talent fails to work hard, hard work beats talent, stuff, stuff like that. But, yeah, like, just focus <laughs> on, yeah, exactly, yeah. Just, like, focus hard, work hard, and um, I want to be an example of that mm -hmm. to other people, to encourage other people to work hard at whatever they're doing. All right. Mm -hmm. So that that actually wrapped up my last question because I was like, you know, what other advice that you can give to other artists and um, that, like I said, just just going into this path in which you know you're walking. Yeah. So that you cleared that up very well. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Listen, Elon. Thank you so much once again for coming through, um, dropping gems and, yes. you know, <laughs> throw it out yeah. there. Thank and you. And giving, you. you know, just talking about your career, talking about your new release. Hard, guys, go get that. Yes, on all streaming platforms. All, all, platforms, streaming platforms. Platforms. all Tidal, platforms, Spotify, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, anywhere you can find music. Please stream hard and um, follow me on Instagram, mm -hmm. theofficial.elan. Follow me on Twitter. The official ELA2 and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Elon Suave. And yes. um, I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I love you guys. Please Good follow time. me and stay tuned. Stay tuned to what yes. I have coming next. Next month, I have Dangerous. Then, month after that, it's Suave Season Volume 2. So, please Volume. stay tuned Ooh. and please stay tuned and join me on my journey. Yes. yes. You know, we definitely here to support you. Thank you so much thank for you. tuning in with us tonight. We appreciate no you. No problem. Anytime. All right. Have a good night. All right. You Bye. too. You too. Stay <laughs> safe. Stay safe, guys. Thanks to you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So that was such yeah. a good... I, I love Elon. Like I said, he's a really good artist. Um, he has um, such great music, um, you know, and dedication. He has such a great team. Um, I remember and, his dad when he was doing the showcase. Yes. And I was handing out the cards. I like, go, oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love when like family's like involved in everything. So it's, it's beautiful to see. Yes. So guys, you know, this has been our, our first episode yes. for any yes. talks. Oh yes. my gosh. Join us back every Tuesday, um, 7 p.m. Um, you know, we we'll make sure we'll post up who's gonna be our next artist yes. or even a producer or someone in the industry. Mm -hmm. You never Somebody know. That, you know, that will come through and drop some more gems. Um, so the purpose of this is to be able to educate those who are looking to be in the industry or you know, those who are in the industry and maybe looking to maneuver a certain way. Um, but and just want to hear other experienced artists or whoever's in the industry that are that's doing these uh, creative things. So, guys, we just thank you so much for tuning in. We yes. just thank you so much for um, taking the time to listen to Elon Suave. Guys, remember, he dropped his single hard um it's on all streaming platforms please 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 Spotify, please go title, download Apple. um all streaming platforms Everything. he is on our genius music playlist as well so even if you don't have you can go to our playlist um that we uh, actually featured on yesterday uh and you'll be able to hear the music as well yeah. okay guys and just a couple of rights so join Couples karaoke right after this. Right after this, eight uh, actually eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Not right after this. Eight o'clock. It is after this, but not directly. <laughs> so eight o'clock. Listen, they got some gems over there. We got some beautiful couples um, that are going to be talking about the soundtrack to, to their, their love. love. So the love behind the music. Um, it's just pretty much every week. With it's a new series. So um, Bianca, um, yes. she's part of Couples of Karaoke. 
so pretty much you're just going to talk to them about their relationship, what inspired the relationship, like music wise, and just do like a little fun games. And then on Fridays, uh, we you can get a little ratchet. <laughs> We do um, Club Crush on you on Friday. So pretty much we just, um, just like just more for singles. So we <laughs> ask questions, we play games, play karaoke, have karaoke. So it's fun and gems are dropped. So make sure you guys tune in. Yes. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We appreciate you. We thank you for the good turnout. Yes. Um, once again, um, Eli Suave, thank you so much for you and your family be, um, tuning in with us. And guys, in the